Developing effective team building games for employees is not easy. Depending on the mood and personality of your team, team building games for employees can vary based on what it is that you're trying to accomplish. Well, in today's video, we're going to explore two active focused team building games that don't require too much planning, but a lot of movement. Before I begin, please make sure to smash that like button and subscribe if you like this type of content and let's get started. The first game, Human Knot. Human Knot is a game that focuses on helping your team solve puzzles. The game requires some leadership and will stretch your players and develop their voice. This game game will require a touching of hands, so grab some hand sanitizer. The activity is great for problem solving communication and should last about 5 to 10 minutes. In terms of players, you must have at least 6 plus and it's encouraged to have even numbers when in teams. If you have a large group, then you need to be creative, but it's important that teams are even. In order to play human knot, players must stand in a circle facing inwards. You can form teams of four, six, or eight, but aim to keep the teams even, since each person must grab a partner's hand in order for this to work. Then, each player must reach out their right hand and join hands with somebody opposite them. Players should not join hands with somebody immediately to their right or left. They must choose someone in front of them or across from them. Finally, do the same with the left hand, joining hands with a new partner. Now the goal of the game is to unravel the knot without releasing each other's hands so that players finish standing in a perfect circle with their hands joined, that's important. To achieve this, players will need to turn, twist, and pass through each other's hands, all the while maintaining good communication. The facilitator, prior to giving the signal to start, should move around the groups and ensure that every person is following the rules listed above. The first group to unravel and form a circle wins the game. Once done, the facilitator should ask some questions. The first one is, what did you learn from this activity about each other? How did you solve this problem? Please share a leadership quality that you saw from someone in the group. The next activity, all aboard. This team building game requires team members to work together in a close physical proximity in order to solve a practical and physical problem. The number of players is 8 to 50 participants, so this game can accommodate a lot of people. You just need to have the space to accommodate the people that you're trying to work with. The goal of this game is for the entire team to fit into a circle or square on the floor. Simple, right? Well, it's not that easy as you progress in the game. After the group has successfully fit within the shape, you should then ask the group members to now leave that particular particular shape. However, this time, make the shape smaller. Each time, players must try to fit within the object, which is then made smaller and smaller. At one point, team members will have to support each other and work as a team to finish the challenge. You should continue to progress through making the shape smaller and smaller until it becomes physically impossible for team members to be able to do so, at which point you should then try one more time to see if you can make it work. After the game, the facilitator should ask some core questions. What are your thoughts about this activity and what made it difficult? What did you learn about each other and how could we make this game more difficult in the future? The idea is to kind of build and use this activity as a springboard for more activities where you're trying this thing in multiple times in future team building activities. And that's it. Please make sure to explore some of our other videos if you're looking for more team building activities. Also, please make sure to hit that like button and subscribe and happy planning.